Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. Today we're doing another one of these Bang Energies, but this one is gonna be on the Bangster Berry. So I got this particular can out of Goodies Sweet. I haven't got a little card to show you because it wasn't one in the, uh, in the in the delivery, but it cost me £3.20, which is really not too bad, seeing as the monster's generally around £4 to £5 on these websites. The bang's only £3.20, so it's really not that bad, seeing as you can pay £2 upwards for a can of Monster or Rebel out of a service station in England. So really not that bad, and the they've got to make a profit and delivery and everything else on top. So anyways, let's give you guys a 4360 of the can. So a fairly simple can design, but quite a cool logo on the front. So most of the can is white with a silver back into the can. We have the ingredients and kind of then like a, some more ingredients on either side of the back of the can. And then, so we've got the bang logo and stuff on the front. We have a purple or bluish thing around the top with some stuff on there, which you'll read in a second. On the bottom we have nothing and on the top everything is all in boring silver including the pouring which is just plain boring silver too taking a close look at the drink so around the top it says sugar free calorie free and fat free and taking a close look at the front of the can so so we have the bang logo uh, obviously it's a b for bang but it looks like a looks like a car looks like a car turbo doesn't it because you've got like the inlet and then the you know the outlet and it looks like a little target with the kind of you know dot in the middle doesn't it so kind of a cool b logo there and the bang font and stuff again looks fairly cool in this really really dark purple it's kind of hard to see on the camera like the font on it but yeah it's really kind of deep dark purple and then the bangs to berry which is interestingly trademarked so looking at the back of the can so we have zero artificial colors zero total carbs and zero sugars per can and this one has natural caffeine as well caffeine content is 32 milligrams per 100 ml so it's bang on the average for caffeine which is generally 32. reading the actual ingredients so as it is sugar free does it contain a spartamate or anything like that well after reading the ingredients we only have syroclose and a suflame case another so spartamate which is good and looking at the actual nutritional information, it is indeed completely zero grams. Uh, our vitamins are niacin, vitamin B6, B12, but no panathenic acid, interestingly. And uh, this can is particularly made in the Netherlands. So I know these bangs are quite big in America, like with the vibe and stuff, but this particular can might be an EU can. So it's made in the Netherlands and, you know, because it is a 500 mil can and America cans generally aren't 500 mil. So this may indeed be an EU can and the American ones may be a different size and have some different ingredients. But nevertheless, um, yeah, it's an EU can. Technically, you know, England's not part of EU, but who cares about that? So anyways, um, yeah, nothing else interesting on the can. Bang, bangenergy.eu on Instagram. But um, yeah, so it's nice and cold. I have got a cup. I've got my uh, ZL Studios cup because the Silom Studios wouldn't fit. <laughs> so let's see. I've reviewed two other bangs so far. The link to them will be in the description below once they're uploaded and they're, you know, made public. Now, I'm guessing the colour of this is going to be... It's a trick question because even though it's got no artificial colours, you think it's going to be a different colour, but it's not. It's going to be clear. Just bear that in mind. So I'm guessing it's going to be clear, but I've only do drinks that have artificial colours. are normally bright blue or something crazy like that. But this one, I'm telling you, is going to be clear. The smell and taste, well, bangs to berry. I mean, that's their own kind of, I mean, from the can, I'm guessing it's going to be kind of more of the darker berries, kind of the red berries and maybe, I guess, kind of maybe black currants and stuff because you can have the quick read of the ingredients. It doesn't actually say what berry flavours are in here. So it is really, we will find out. So anyways, hopefully it doesn't explode over me. There we go. Right, and the colour is... Surprise, surprise. That's no artificial colors for you guys. All these other energy drinks that have color, they're all artificial colors. No artificial colors in this one. So really, really quite fizzy on the top there. Not too many bubbles on the side though. Um, but yes, uh, the bubbles went fairly quick on top. So the color is, like I said, completely clean. You can't see my face at all. So yeah, let's give it a closer smell and see what we can smell of. Oh my god, it smells, it reminds me of like, oh that's a, uh, it reminds me of like some sort of, I don't know, like you know you get those kind of little, 
what are they called? Those little sweets you get in kind of like the tin, like, and that doesn't, <laughs> that narrows it down to not much, but you get those little driving sweets in the little pots, the little metal tins, and they're basically got like, they're basically like a hard candy sweet, and then they've got like a little bit of like berry juice in the middle. This is what this smells like. It smells like those, it smells like, it basically smells like berry candy sweets, shall I say. Hmm. Cool. Nevertheless, guys, let's taste some. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, so that's interesting. Definitely interesting flavour, that one. So I'll start with the sweetness and syrupiness and stuff. Not syrupy at all and it shouldn't be because it's not american and in terms of being actual sweet and stuff this one really isn't that sweet it's definitely not sugar sweet because it hasn't got any sugar in it but even artificially sweet it's just not that sweet of a drink and i did find this with the other bangs i have done without spoiling the videos but they just aren't super super strong which is a good thing because for being sugar free and all that you shouldn't expect them to be overly sweet with sweetness or stuff like that but yeah, so it really isn't that sweet. I'd say it's probably about 25% sweetness. It really isn't that sweet whatsoever. But there is a little bit of sweetness there. Now, I understand that it is trying to be calorie-free, sugar-free, fat-free, aspartame-free, and the rest of that. But the fact is, like, probably 20-25% 20, 20, sweetness. It's just about right for that drink. Just about right. And the flavor as well with that drink is just about right. So I'll... I'll give them that one for the sweets. Maybe it could do with just be maybe just a tad. But again, for the I'd rather stick with the sugar free and you know the calorie free and the spa to make free to have it that sweetness, which is fine. But the flavour itself, well, it's again it's not a very strong flavour, but not it's not a weak flavour as in it's like if you've got like a carton of juice, for example, and it's you know like a really weak version of a carton juice, it just kind of tastes off or just tastes like rubbish. It tastes weak, but it doesn't taste like it's a strong weak, if that makes sense. So even though, like, how do I explain it? The flavors are there, but they're just not strong. But you know the flavors are there, and the little bit of flavor which is there is nice. So it's almost like adding a little bit of something, but it's a really good, concentrate, well done bit of flavor, if that makes sense. But the actual banks to berry flavor, well, yeah, it's just a mix of... It's just a mix of berries. If anything, I'd say it's more towards the... I can't really pinpoint... or well, I can't pinpoint out what uh, Pacific berries are in the drink at all. Let me try some out of the can and see if I can uh, pinpoint a berry. I just can't pinpoint the berries. It's such a mix combined with kind of such a low flavour in the drink. It's it's It just reminds me of, again, some just like some generic red berry mix or something. But it's nice. It is nice. Um, but yeah, generic red berry mix, that's all I can kind of say. Maybe a bit of blueberries, like as in blue type of berries as well, mixed in there together. But overall, I understand the banks to berry, yeah, it probably is a mix of berries, which is fine. But I really can't pinpoint out what berries are coming out to me in the palate because it's just such a weak flavour. But overall though, the drink is really nice. You say, even though the whole drink is kind of just weak and relaxed, the best way to describe this drink is it's probably... And I said this about the other bangs kind of as well, but it's basically like drinking fizzy water. Basically, if it wasn't labelled as bang, if it wasn't labelled as an energy drink, it wasn't labelled as having caffeine in it, and it was labelled as fizzy water, you would think it's literally just some generic fizzy water. So that's the point. If you take away the branding and the packaging from this can and brand, it's basically just fizzy berry water, which tastes nice. So, you know, think what you will of that. But... The fact it's an energy drink and it tastes that good then yeah that's fine so but overall no it is nice you know don't get me wrong it is nice but for people that are wanting you know maybe a sugar taste or a, a sweeter taste or something like that then this drink isn't for you or maybe if you want a stronger flavor again this isn't for you i'd say some of the monster ultras have got a stronger flavor that's probably the way to describe it compared to this it's just the overall tone of this drink is just low but in a good way, that's not a bad thing because I will drink the rest of this drink happily. So, but for those reasons, and you know, for being sugar free and just not having any, you know, nasty 
artificial taste. There's no chemical taste. There's none of that nasty stuff. It just tastes of a nice, real flavour, but low, basically, fizzy water berry drink. So you can't go wrong with that. So for that reason, it does get a thumbs up for me. So guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check the description below, again, you can follow me on social, TikTok, Instagram, or Twitter. Or if you want to support me in the channel, you can check out my Patreon. Minimum support is £1 and it will go towards new drinks, new videos, and towards the channel. So as always, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all later.